absurd. I'm super excited for Superman v Batman if they do it right. I've never, I've never enjoyed that matchup because I feel like Superman would just snap Batman like a twig and it'd be over. Have you ever seen the Batman Superman matchup, like the actual? I've movie? heard that he just that Batman just uses a uh, Kryptonite. Mm -mm. That's because not how he does what, it. without because Kryptonite, then he would just fucking die. Not true. Okay, here's what I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay. Batman is still being a vigilante. Superman's working for the U.S. government. The government tells Batman he has to stop doing what he's doing. He says, I'm not gonna. They send Superman to stop him. Superman shows up. Batman has what's like called like a buster suit or whatever. And it, it kind of reminds me of like a, the Hulk buster armor. The Hulk armor. buster armor. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of that, but it's like Fuck. got pointy Batman ears. And uh, he starts fighting Superman. And like it's got a pressure... Uh, Thing in like one of the wrists. But yes, it is. Are you fucking kidding me? You shut up, Michael. I watched the damn movie. Oh, he may not be talking about that because there's just he a is. delay. He's just been typing. Yeah, he don't want to hear it. Take your headphones off. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope this. I hope you're not you're not complaining about spoilers right now, Michael. Yeah. I know that's like, not the issue. Yeah. That can't be the issue. That would surprise me. I apologize, though. I should have said that spoilers, but I did announce that I was going to start sp talking about it. But anyway, um, so Batman and Superman are fighting. He has this like pressurized arm gauge thing that, uh, whenever he goes to punch, it kicks back, and then a cylinder releases, so it releases like pressurized air at the same time. And uh, he gets some really good shots. Superman beats the crap out of him, of course. Um, granted, Batman's in his like 60s when this fight's going down. Um, so now the fight's even more bullshit. Uh, but no. Anyway, um, he at one point Superman knocks him into like a uh, a lamp post, and uh, Batman plugs into it and grabs Superman's head and shocks the shit out of his brain, which stuns Superman for a minute. And he starts talking to him because Batman's like, you know, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? We can, you don't have to do this. He's like. It's not, if they don't send me, they're just gonna send somebody else. And Batman goes, who are they gonna send that? And he's like, come on, Bruce, just give, it's not a big deal, come on, dude. And Batman's like, no, so they keep fighting, and eventually, um, he, Batman gets knocked into a wall, and Superman's about to, like, rip him out of his suit and mess him up, and he's like, uh, you realize, like, I, I am better than you, and Superman's like, I'm just gonna take you in, just make it easy on yourself. And then you hear uh, the green arrow lace a, uh, lace an arrow, and he fires it. Superman turns around, catches the arrow, but the tip explodes in its face, and it's powdered kryptonite. And uh, he, so, like, Super Batman did cheat, even with his super suit, he cheated. How's that cheating? He brought okay, a friend. No, 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 no. no <laughs> so, so, so technically, it's it's no, Superman it's versus him. Batman and Green Arrow. Let's just call it what it is. Well, I mean, Green Arrow doesn't do anything but this. But and that's what idea. turns the fight, so it sounds like. No, listen to me. Before he. Let me finish the thing. So, Batman. Uh, Superman, like, starts, like, freaking out. He grabs his face and falls his face. And Batman's like, I want you to realize. He, he steps out of the suit. No, he He stands up and he's like, I want you to realize. Like, if I had just used um, a quieter spring in his bow, or if I had used a more uh, concentrated form of kryptonite, I could have killed you. You would not have been able to stop this. I'm better than you, and I want you to remember this now, Clark. In uh, all your darkest days and your best moments, I, am, I want you to remember the one man that can beat you. And then he has a heart attack and dies. Batman? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Yeah, well, he can talk all the shit he wants. He lost the fight. He, he didn't lose the fight. Green. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I cannot believe you're arguing to say that. that uh, I'm done. He I planned don't. the entire fight? Yeah. Yeah, but. And Batman doesn't actually die. He uses a sedative to make his heart rate slow down. Uh, his sidekick digs him out of his grave after the funeral. What the hell? Anyway, I just, I don't know, like, that to me, like, that's not cheating, because you're taking someone who is essentially immortal, and two mortals took him to his knees based on the plan of a single mortal. Like... That still feels like cheating to me. 
I understand. Well, but that's not. I mean, I'm just uh, when people man, somebody feel says like cheating to me because I can put a bullet in your head and that's killing you. Is that cheating? Well, no, like, because we, as two worlds, are on equal ground. Well, Superman exactly. and Batman are not on equal ground, which exactly. means because Superman is stronger and more powerful than than Batman can oh, ever yeah. be. Oh yeah. Anyway, so, Batman had to bring in a second party to in order to win. Like he he needed the Green Arrow. So yeah. if it was Superman versus Batman and the Green Arrow, I still think Superman wins because he knows they're both there. But but if he doesn't know Green Arrow's there, then yeah, he Batman loses. Wins. But Superman is stronger than Batman. Oh yeah, no doubt. Like like I, I like Batman. Be I like a... Batman better. But yeah, honestly, Superman Flash is, is my favorite superhero. Superman period. is the ultimate superhero. Flash is faster than Superman. See, I don't think that's true because <laughs> on foot he is. Because uh, I don't think Superman's simply like you said, like he simply hasn't tried to run that fast yet. Actually, has there? Um, there are four comics where Flash and Superman race in a foot race. Superman can just inject which... Batman with AIDS. <laughs> I believe it. He can give him the Cajun death, me de Cajun death measles. measles. <clears throat> but yeah, um, one of the the Dead uh, Space movie sucks. By the way, that's not true. There are actually two movies. I like them both. I only saw the first one. It was okay. Like I like the the books. I, I mean, I like all the books. I like all the movies. I like all the games. I love the Dead Space story. It's animated. It's awesome. Yeah. No, I love Flash though, because in one of the races with Superman, uh, they race with Santa because they're trying to save Christmas. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Santa's real. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 They see all the comics just fell apart for me. I could deal with, <laughs> with the super powered alien and, and and the mech suits and the Flash being so fast and everything. But Santa Claus, I'm done. DC, I'm done. <laughs> Marvel for though, the, the win. Leviticus, yeah, Leviticus backed me up. The comics do say Flash is faster, and the only reason is Superman is faster than Flash if he flies. But if Superman runs like foot race with the Flash, he cannot beat him. Um, in some of the comics where they do race, they always tie, and when Superman brings it up in the, like, the last comic that they raced that. in, uh, Superman tells him, he's like, how'd you beat me? And the Flash is like, well, all the other ones we were racing for were for charity, so I wanted to make sure they were a tie, but this one was just for us. Yeah, they run to the end of the universe in battle. The end of the universe, where's that located? And how do you get there on foot? DC, please. Please. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to hear it. The Flash has a time-traveling, uh, fucking, um, what's it called? Um, treadmill. Like, a time-traveling treadmill. <laughs> he runs so fast on the treadmill that he's, he reverses time. What? <laughs> I'm not kidding. What the fuck the is DC? What is DC? Like, that that's how the Flash in the original comics did it. Because the whole storyline with the Flash is he becomes Flash because his mom died. He wants to find out what killed his mom. It's Paradox. He goes back in time to stop Paradox. He stops him, goes back to the future, and finds out that Paradox got his power. It's not him. So he's no longer the Flash. So he has to figure out how to fucking reverse that shit. And so, like... Yeah, he uses the time machine. It's a fucking all right. time traveling treadmill. Alright. Yeah, that solidifies Marvel's superiority <laughs> over DC. Not at all. Fucking Ye none. Dude, Quicksilver cannot run back in time. I don't care. That's it. This game over. Wait, who's Quicksilver? He's the fastest X Men. Oh, right, right, right. Did he run back in time at some point? No, he couldn't. What's okay, up, because because Marvel isn't stupid and ridiculous. Did, I don't know if you guys saw that though. By the way, uh, apparently during cutscenes, uh, the bad guys are invulnerable. So I wasted some I did ammo. See that, actually. Uh, the link got deleted. Uh, I, I see it. It's a it's an imager thing. Post the link I put. Okay. Question: Why couldn't Superman go back when Batman's parents are dead and then kill one? I mean, kill him before he becomes Batman. Good one, question. Superman is a good guy. Yeah, I, I don't think Superman ever wanted to kill uh, 
Batman? Yeah, I mean, like, it wasn't, no, that wasn't about, about killing, it was just about bringing him to, uh, in. Fucking out of I can think, I can think at the speed of light. I can perceive events that last for less than an out of second. I can run faster than time. What do I see when I run across the country, Superman? I see everything and everyone. What? You post that link so I can see it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Interesting. Oh, nice. Where am I supposed to go now? I got lost in the, the ridiculousness of DC. <laughs> Dude, I hate DC. <laughs> It's so fucking dumb, except for the new Green Arrow. Whatever. Green Arrow sucks. The old one? Like, dude, that show is awesome. The show may be good, but this all reimagining of is not of a superhero. Neither is Batman! Okay. Neither neither is fucking Bruce Wayne! Bruce Wayne is at least a fucking... Like, uh, Green Arrow storyline, he is not a genius. He may be fucking... I know, like, his whole, like, sinking of the... Like, the original story, when the boat sank, it was his fault. Like, because apparently he didn't take archery seriously and they got hijacked by pirates or something and he accidentally shot some kind of canister thing that exploded and sunk the ship. Like, that's the original Green Arrow story. I, I didn't know that, actually. So, yeah, like, I don't like the old Green Arrow. Like, I've never liked Green Arrow as a character. But the, the reimagining of it, like the show, made him really cool. This could be called Movie Talk Saturday. Yeah? <laughs> Aquaman has been has beaten Superman too. Aquaman hasn't done shit. Yeah, Aquaman is bullshit. Under, I, I underwater bullshit Aquaman. Power. Underwater Aquaman is a badass. You know how you counter that? You don't go into water. <laughs> <laughs> this is my counter. I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> hey! I hope you, I hope you Job like well done. You're gonna hate what I just did. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah, I know he is. And it upsets me that he is because he really isn't. Like Aquaman is one of the most powerful DC characters. Yeah. Except, except he's like. He's just so. There's so much counterplay to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's just. He's just not in the meta right now. He. He is the Trindamir. He, he, he is the Trindamir of DC. Dude, he got replaced by fucking Cyborg. Like, I like Cyborg. I do too, but that's Oops, how the wrong way. bad of a superhero. Like, nobody likes you. We're gonna replace you. He's, he's probably the most hated of the DC <laughs> universe. <laughs> God damn it, Aquaman. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> hey, he's, Aquaman, he is the Meg Griffin. He is the Meg Griffin of the Justice League. If we have a if we have a problem, Aquaman near a water fountain, we'll give you a call. I just feel like anytime he speaks up at the Justice League meetings, everybody's just like, "Ugh." Shut up, Aquaman. Aquaman, <laughs> just just be quiet. The big kids are talking. You want a Raven movie? That'd be cool. Oh, dude, I, like I would kill for a Raven movie. How about Wolverine be... versus Superman? I think Superman still wins, but I think it'd be more yep. entertaining. Because uh, about... Wolverine's extremely hard to kill, just naturally. You rip out his spine. Oh, which, look, which is made of adamantium, so it's a lot harder to do. Not if you're fucking Superman, it's not. Maybe, I guess. <laughs> that, that's my only problem with that. It's like, you can say that'd be a cool movie, and yeah, I could see it being pretty badass, but at the same time, it's like... All Superman's gotta do is rip out his spine, and that's pretty much the... I don't see you healing up. Not having a spine. Sure. I thought I always thought the only way to, to beat Wolverine would be to cut off his head. Uh, technically, which is technically impossible because you know yeah, adamantium. Metal... <laughs> oh. I thought I, th this is one thing I hated about the newest Wolverine movie. This is so stupid. They cut his claws off by heating up an adamantium sword. That's so ridiculous. Like, All right, we're on board if you can weaken break. it by heating it up, then the thing that would have broken would be the sword. The quarantine just lifted. 
Whatever was in the not the claws. Left. That's lucky for us. Yeah. Well, in Isaac, the, um, get back to the in the, the Deadpool kills we'll the Marvel Universe movie. The bridge and meet uh, you there. If we live that long, uh, comic. You're out of your uh, league, Hammond. He can't be beheaded. Be beheaded. He can be beheaded and still live. What? Yeah. How? Mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do with or without you. His brain still functions. It's just like Deadpool. He has the X Factor. Like just get he can be alive. completely severed, and as long as his limbs are put back close to, to themselves, he can heal it. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dead Space. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see me live stream, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash cold underscore pizza and click the follow button. Or check out the links in the description below to follow all my champions on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. See you next time.